everyone I'm just doing a quick video here to show you what cards I'm using for the month of January if you follow me on Instagram or you've seen my Tarasco video you probably know most of these but I'm just gonna show you quickly anyway so the card deck that I'm using for the months of January is one of my favorites and for tarot I mean not card decks tarot decks um, it is the revelations tarot I don't have a book or the box, pardon me, I have the book still, but it's a really great deck because it features both right side up and upside down images. So it is a wonderful deck for learning reversals if you're new to reversals. And I really kind of like the art style in this deck. There's something almost stained glass about it. It's both modern and evokes um, sort of, for me, some medieval imagery. There's a little bit of um, 1930s type drawing in some of this. I like the colors. It's very easy to see quickly what suit it is. So I really, really like this deck. It's, um, it's one of my staples for sure. And something about the two heads, or the, the upside down and right side up, really makes me think of January because I think of the, the uh, Roman god Janus, who's a January's named after, which is, um, he's the god of doorways and of um, points where you begin and enter, sort of thresholds is what I'm looking for. So they often have him as a two-headed figure looking one way and the other, and so it just makes me think of Janus and January. Look at that devil. Pretty great. So yeah, so that's the tarot deck that I'm using. Um, I'm coupling it with the Lenormand, the Maybe Lenormand is my Lenormand deck. Um, I'll be using this probably for the next couple of months at least. Um, there's something really nice about this deck in Wintry. I think it's the black and white. Um, I love this eye on the back. It's just great. And it's very simplistic. It's very like black and white with little bits of color. And something about that simplicity really speaks to me about the winter and new start to the year. So I really love this particular deck. And I love the box that comes in. Such a nice box, such good presentation. So that's the Lenormand deck I'm using. And then the Oracle deck that I'm using for the month of January is the Oracles of Shadows and Light. Um, it's probably, this was my first Jasmine Beckett Griffith deck and it's probably my favorite out of hers. So I'll be coupling this with um, the Revelations Tarot in my Instagram. I just really love this deck. It's got like a real kind of like gothic fey type energy to it. And I think it pairs really well with that particular deck. Um, as for decks that I'm using throughout the year, and I mean, I'm not using these in Instagrams or anything, but every year I have like an Oracle deck that I use to pull from my own personal draws. And um, last year I was using the Good Tarot as soon as it kind of came out. And I'm using another Colette Baron Reed. We really love her decks for daily draws. Um, I am using the Enchanted Map, which is kind of a classic. Um, I find this deck is really good just for like daily daily draws, like daily bits of guidance. It's got a good amount of light and shadow. It has good little pieces of advice. So it's right side up and upside down images. I'm not usually a fan of this computer type art, but in this particular deck, I am okay with it. The style is, is pretty good. It doesn't look, you know, it's, it's, you know, some computer animation, it sort of looks, or computer type style, the digital art can look really cut and paste together. This doesn't, and so I don't mind that. So yeah, so that's the one I'm using personally for myself. Um, I do have used, uh, the year before I was using the Wisdom of the Oracle for 2016, and um, that's another really great deck for daily draws as well. And then before that, 2015, I was using this deck, and it's a good really really good deck too and for years I used the Avalon Oracle which she has this daily draw so she makes really great just like daily draw oracles I find and then I usually have a weekly fairy card that I pull and I was using the fairy oracle this is the heart of fairy oracle which is the second deck by Brian Froud so this is the one that I'm using 
Now, I find these particular decks, the Brian Froud ones, people love them or hate them. They can work with them or they can't. Um, I have had the Heart of Fear or the Fairy Oracle, the first one, for years and years and have worked with it for years and love it. But I know some people do have trouble sometimes with these particular decks. But I love them and I think they are the closest to what I think fairies look like and what their energy is like. I definitely do really love these oracles so I'm using the Heart of Fairy this year. Um, I haven't worked with this one as much as the other, the Fairy Oracle, the first one, but I'm going to work with this this year and um, I hope it's as good as the other one we're working with. So I'm working with that. Another one that I use for myself is um, the Messenger Oracle and I use that for kind of lunar draws like when I'm doing um, ritual for full moons or new moons. I'll often um, pull a card during the ritual just for you know some guidance and things like that and I really like the messenger oracle for that I think it's um it has kind of a magical fey like quality to it you know it's got mythical creatures and animals in it it's got dragons you know it's just something very magical about it which to me really speaks to you know full moons and, and new moons and things like that it's got a magic to it that I really love and then for Sabbaths, I usually have a deck that I work with as well, just for myself. Um, and this year, I decided that I'm going to put it back here. My Sabbath Oracle would be the Sacred Rebel Oracle. Um, I really love the guidance in this deck. I think that it is um, a very feminine deck, but has a lot of warrior type energy to it. It is not soft, flowery, feminine, that is for sure. Um, and it's honest and straightforward. I think it kind of pushes you to look at things. Um, it is definitely a deck that um, calls to me to work with this year. So those are the decks that I'm working with for the year. Um, if you have any of these decks, let me know what you think, um, or maybe they're on your wish list. I don't know, um, but let me know. I like and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all next time.